Welcome to the Unit 2 Review with Absolute Value Equations and Inequalities. We're going to start off with 2B. Number 1. So you always need to isolate the absolute value. So we need to... Any operations outside of the absolute value, we need to do the opposite to move them to the opposite side of the inequality. So negative 2 plus 9 is 7. Absolute value is isolated. 7 is a positive number. So we're going to move on. We're going to split this up into x is less than 7 and x is greater than negative 7. So we switch the inequality from less than to greater than and multiply the right side by negative 1, the opposite side of the x. Now we're going to graph these. I'm going to start off with negative 7. I'm just going to plot it on the on the number line anywhere. And then 7's on the right. So from least to greatest, like negative 7's left and then 7's to the right. That's how I do it. And then x is greater than, not equal to, negative 7, and at x is less than, not equal to, when they're shaded towards each other, it's going to be uh, interval notation negative 7 to 7 parentheses, not bracket because they're open circles, they're holes, so they're not included. So the actual answer, what I'm looking for, what we're looking for is the interval notation. All right, next one. We absolute value is isolated. We're going to split it up. Or it equals a, it's a positive number, so we're going to move on. X minus 3 is greater than or equal to 12. X minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 12. So we multiply the right side, opposite side of the X value by negative 1. And we solve each little equation here. So we have that at 15. X is greater than or equal to 15. X is less than or equal to negative 9. So negative 9 is left on the number line, 15 is to the right on the number line, 15 is filled in and equal to, and it's to the right greater than, negative 9 is filled in, and it's less than, so that's an opposite direction, so this is going to negative infinity, this is going to positive infinity, so here are our intervals, negative infinity to negative 9, it is filled in, so a bracket, that means it's included, union, meaning they're together with 15 to infinity. And again, the answer I'm looking for is right here, these intervals. All right, number three. We have multiplication, we have addition, we're going to subtract first. And multiply by the reciprocal, 7 over 1, which is really just 7. And we get uh, absolute value of 7x is less than or equal to positive 7. So it's positive, so we're going to move on, split it up. One of the values is exactly what it says. Just drop the absolute value. The other answer is switch the inequality and switch to a negative. We're going to divide by 7. And divide by 7. We're dividing by a positive 7, so we do not switch to inequality. And see, so we have negative 1 and 1. Negative 1 is equal to and greater than is to the right. 1 is equal to and it's less than. So there's together and they're, they are actually shaded towards each other, so then it's just brackets around them. So the actual answer is negative 1, including from negative 1 to 1, and there's your interval notation. Next one, we're going to subtract 9 first. And then we're, that is 35. We're going to divide by negative 5. And switch to inequality, 35 divided by negative 5 is negative 7. We're going to stop here because the absolute value is isolated, and it, there's a negative number on the right side. This means either a no solution or infinite solution. So absolute value means this is going to be a positive number. And a positive number is always going to be greater than a negative number. Always. So that's infinite solutions. Meaning any number you put in for x, it will always be greater than negative 7 in this e equation. All right, number five. It is isolated already. We have a positive number on the right side. It's 
at negative 7x minus 5 greater than 23. Negative 7x minus 5 is less than negative 23. I'm going to add 5. Divide by negative 7, we're dividing by a negative, so we're going to switch the inequality to negative 4. Add 5. Divide by 7, negative 7, we're dividing by a negative, so that's going to switch to inequality. Negative divided by negative is positive. So negative 4, put that on the number line, and 18 sevenths on the number line. We have negative 4 less than 18 sevenths, greater than, and so this is going to go less than to negative infinity. We're going to go right to positive infinity. So our interval notation is negative infinity to negative 4, not included. And, but we're going to also have the part of the solution to be from 18 sevenths to infinity. And here's our final interval notation of our solutions. All right, next one we're going to add 7. And then we're going to break it up. The 79 is positive, so we're going to go negative 10x minus 1 is less than 79. Negative 10x minus 1, whoa, x is greater than negative 79. Add 1. Dividing by a negative, so we need to switch the inequality to greater than. Divide by negative 10, so again, we're going to switch to inequality. It goes to less than 78 tenths. We can reduce that. Divide numerator and denominator by 2. So the x is less than 39 over 5. So now on the number line, 39 fifths is bigger than negative 8. So negative 8 is over here somewhere. And we'll just put 39 fifths somewhere on the right because it's bigger than negative 8. Uh, greater than negative 8 not equal to less than negative 30 or 39 over 5 not equal to so they're shaded towards each other so we're going to use ooh, not brackets mr johnson parentheses because they're it's a whole parenthesis and there's our interval notation so negative 8 all the way to 39 fifths all right number 17 so we are going to find the vertex. The vertex is always opposite of what you see here with the x. So it's going to be 2 and exactly on the outside. So this is my h and k. So we have 2, negative 3. So I'm going to put that in the middle, 2, negative 3. And then on the x values, I'm thinking of a number line on 2. What number is 1 less than 2? Well, 1. What's one number more than 2? It's 3 reason why we're doing that is because the V is symmetrical. So we're going to go one side, the left side, and the right side to make both sides of the V um, from the vertex. So now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute 1 in to the, the original equation. These are absolute values. And simplify. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Absolute value of negative 1 is negative or positive 1. And then on the outside we have that negative, so it'll turn back to negative 1. Minus 3 is negative 4. Now with 3, we can do the exact same thing. You're going to see what, what's kind of cool about this, though. So when we simplify this, 3 minus 2 is 1. Absolute value of 1 is 1. We have a negative on the outside, so it turns back to negative 1. Minus 3 is negative 4. The cool thing is absolute values are symmetrical. So if you're the same distance from the vertex, the y values are always going to be the same. So you only have to actually find one of them. Now what we do is we're going to take each one of these coordinates. So we have our coordinate 1, negative 4. We have 2, negative 3, and 3, negative 4. And we are going to plot each one of these. So 2, negative 3 is our vertex, so that's the bottom of the V or the top of the V. We'll see which one it is. Then we have 1, negative 4, and 3 to the right, and down 4. 
and then it's equal to, so it's a solid line. And there's our V, wonderful. All right, next problem. We have our vertex. So again, it's the X values, it's opposite of what I see here. So with the X, so it's negative five, and then there's a plus zero on the outside. So negative five, zero. So negative five, zero. Now I'm gonna, what numbers? One less than, or one to the left of the of negative five, that's negative six. Once one more is negative four. Um, now we're gonna substitute those in to the original equation. So f of negative six, that's three times negative six plus five. And negative six plus five is negative one. Absolute value of negative one is one. Three times one is three. And remember, they're symmetrical. So once you have one number, like negative six is one away from negative five, negative four is one away from negative five, so their y values will be the exact same. So I'm gonna plot these points. Negative six, or negative five, zero. One, two, three, four, five. Negative six, three. Negative six, three. And negative four, three. Equal to, so draw your solid line. And there's your, vert, or there's your graph of the absolute value. Next one, vertex, opposite of what's inside, so two, and same as outside, so two, one. And what number is one less than two on the number line? One, and what's one more is three. We're gonna substitute one in. Four thirds times one minus two plus one. Absolute value of negative one is one. Four thirds times one plus one. Four thirds times one is four thirds plus one. Uh, we gotta make that one over one. Multiply by three to get like denominators. So four thirds plus three thirds, seven thirds. And if you wanna put that in the calculator, how many times is three going to seven? That goes in two times and just a little bit more, two and a third. So this is also, so three, it's gonna be seven thirds. So let's plot these points. So two, one, that's an easy one. Now when it comes to one, two and a third, so I go to one to the right, and then I go up two and just a little less than halfway to three. That's about two and a third above the x-axis. So now we go three, go up about two and a third, Graphing is not exact, so we're just kind of getting a ballpark. It's not perfect when you do it by hand. All right, next one. We have a plus zero on the outside. Opposite of negative two is or two is negative two, and so negative two zero. And what number is one less than number negative two? Is negative three? One more. One more is negative one. My goodness, I almost just forgot what I was doing. I'm going to start with negative 3. It doesn't really matter. So absolute, or negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Absolute value of negative 1 is negative 1. Or positive 1, sorry. Positive 1. And negative 3 over 2 times positive 1 is negative 3 over 2. Now if you want to convert that to something like a decimal or... That would be negative one and one half or negative 1.5. So plotting out of these points, and remember the y value, the next y value is also gonna be the exact same. Because they're the same distance from the vertex, the x value of the vertex. So negative two, zero. Negative three, negative 1.5. Negative one, negative 1.5. And number 15, now we're, now we're graphing inequality, so we're gonna do a lot of the same thing we just did. We're gonna find the vertex, so this is gonna be x plus zero plus two. So the vertex is zero and two. So zero, two. And then we're gonna, what, what's one number less than zero is one, negative one, what's one more number positive? I'm actually gonna go start with positive. 
because I'd rather work with a positive number than a negative number. Ooh, that's supposed to be a 1. Absolute value of 1 is 1, plus 2 is 3. And negative 1 also has to be a 3, because they are symmetrical. So we have 0, 2, and then we have 1, 3, and negative 1, 3. It is an equal to, just like our last page, so it's going to be a solid line. And then it's less than, it's a less than symbol. Less than means we shade below the lines. So that's where we're going to have to shade. So I'm going to do it with a highlighter. Shading below. Cool. Whoa. Got a little outside the line there. No, 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 no. Oh, what happened? Oh, no. I don't know what happened. All right, we're back. Next, moving on. Vertex. This is going to be a negative 3 for the... It's always opposite. It with the X. And the Y is positive. So negative 3, 5. And one less is negative 4. One more is... The negative 3 is negative 2. Substitute them in. For substitution, I just make it equal. Except I actually have to do it. I have to do the substitution. Absolute value of negative 1 is 1. So 4 times 1 plus 5. That's 9. Negative 4, 9, and then we have negative 2 also is at 9. So our points, negative 3, 5, negative 4, 9, negative 2, 9. Got your V. Oh, wait a second. It is not equal to, so let's make sure this is dashed or dotted. And then it is greater than, greater than means we shade above the line. So we shade up. All right, and any coordinate in the shaded areas is a solution. That's what this means. And if it's a solid line like number 15, that is uh, on the line is a solution also. All right, number 17. We have the vertex of 2, 7, opposite of what's on the inside, and same on the outside. And then we have 2, 7. We're going to have one less, one more than the x value. And let's substitute it in. So value of negative one is one plus seven. Negative two times seven is negative, or negative two times one is negative two plus seven is five. So the y value is five. And our next, so it'll also be three five then, because it is symmetrical. So you have two seven, four five six seven, one five, three five. It is equal to, so it's a solid line. And it is greater than, so we're going to shade above. So everything's above the line, above the line. It's going up, above the line. If you're going straight away, above the line. Everything's going above, up, 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 up. So everything's got to be shaded. All right, and the last two problems we have, 18, we have to, I start off with the vertex to find the equation. So that's 3, negative 4. That's my H and K in the problem. And then we, I would do, there's a couple different things you can do. You can do slope, so if I pick another coordinate, how do I get from one point to the next? I go up 2. 
and write one. So rise over run. So it's up two over one, which is two. And that's gonna be our A in the formula. So that's our A. So we have F of X equals, oh no, not equals. This is shading down, so it's less than. And it's dash, so not equal to. Two times the absolute value of X minus the H plus K, but it's minus four, so I'm gonna write minus four. And there we go. For some reason I did not write it in the equation blank. All right, number 19. We have two, seven. And then we have two, seven. We have H and K. Then we'll, and we will have our slope of negative two over one. And slope is negative two over one, which is negative two. And then in our formula, we have f of x is greater than, greater than or equal to, since it's a solid line, we have negative two, absolute value of x minus two plus seven, and that is our formula. You can also find the slope if you'd like by one five and two seven the slope formula the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we have seven minus five over two minus one which is two that's the slope so that's also a way you can find slope if you don't want to do the rise over run.